again, everybody. Welcome to another episode on Play Bright TV. We have a very beautiful guest with me today who is competing in the Miss Universe Philippines pageant 2023. The very statuesque, gorgeous, and sporty Michelle D. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, Miss Diane. It's so nice to see you. Thank you for having me on your show once again. It's been way too long. <laughs> yeah, I've, I remember the last time you joined Miss Universe, we also had you um, as guests. And now you're competing again. So, you know, I know it takes a lot of tenacity, perseverance, and determination to even just decide to join the Miss yes. Universe competition. So what, what made you decide and... You know what's motivating you for this Miss Universe title? Well, first and foremost, I am somebody that doesn't like living a life with regrets. So it's mm -hmm. really that fear of regretting not not reaching my fullest potential. I know I have so much more to offer. And after last year's stint and upon evaluating my own performance, I really know that there's so much more that I can give. And I really want to prove that to our netizens, our mga kababayan natin. And of course, I just don't want to, you know, grow up and wonder what if, what if I had joined again? So I would really like to inspire other people that just because you reach a certain goal doesn't mean you can't top that off so that's really my main motivation that's good that's very admirable because i know nakakapagod even just to join the buy and then i say you didn't make it then you decide to join again <laughs> have that that right. determination kun and the new owner of miss universe she was saying in new orleans like the miss universe is the olympics of beauty so it's really meaning tough competition the best of the how do you react to that well, it's, it's my third time joining a pageant, so I'm very well versed on the experiences of different organizations, actually. But the kind of determination and dedication that you need to join any pageant is the same. Of course, different pageants will stand for different things. But yes, I really agree. It's really like the Olympics because you're training every aspect of your physique and your mental, your mental game to really prove that you're worthy of representing the Philippines on a global stage. I mean, I've done sports all of my life. I've trained ever since I was younger. And admittedly, I struggled also when I first transitioned into becoming a beauty queen because mm -hmm. it's such a different attack different. and different strategy. You're really working on your form. As in people, when I when I was first a model, kasi I, I didn't think it was that technical, but it's so technical the walking yes. the walking even q and a is technical you have to be authentic of course but to be able to calibrate your brain in order to make sure that you get your point across in 30 seconds that's that takes a whole other level of training as well right you're so right so how tall are you again michelle you're so very tall right i stand how tall five are you? ten po. i stand I five ten Yes, yes. I thank my mom for that. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I, of course. Um, uh, such a great height for beauty queens and also for sports. So you already mentioned a little bit, Kanina. So what, yes. what sports did you get? It, were you into younger, maybe high school, college? And uh, you, I think you're part of some varsity teams. Yes, yes, I was. Thank you so much for, for mentioning that. So I grew up in a very small town in Utah. And I grew mm -hmm. up on a ranch, so full of animals and just outdoors, nature. So oh. growing up, I was really filled with a lot. Then I would play a lot with my friends. And growing up, I guess, since I was surrounded by so much nature and so much adrenaline, and I don't know if it's because of my parents, my mom and my dad are both action stars also. So I think I got that from them. I was such a daredevil. So growing up, I was just playing around. I was riding horses, like I mentioned earlier. Then when I was older, I joined so many varsities. So I played softball, I was part of the swimming varsity, also basketball, volleyball. I did taekwondo, kido. I did fencing, which is so random. Also, I did fencing and football. Um, but the varsities that I joined come high school was volleyball and basketball. So 
I was actually the only student that was allowed to join two varsities because I was so tall and both teams needed me. Yeah, so it, it was really fun. But then I decided transitioning over to college, I was being recruited by the top four universities to join their different varsity teams, which I respectfully declined because I really wanted to start making a name for myself and to start earning. And of course, I was taking pre-med at the time. So I really just wanted to focus on that aspect of my life. So now I just I go swimming, I box, and of course, I'm shooting a action series also. So I'm touching up on my martial arts skills also. That's it incredible you know you did all those sports that's crazy like how do you have time to do that i think it it was something that i'm very i was very passionate about i love staying on the go i love challenging myself and i just really love getting better at the thing that i'm focused on at the moment so okay. i i'm such an advocate for self-growth wait so michelle d you declined varsity scholarships Yes, yes. Well, it wasn't, I guess we can say it was scholarships, but it was the offer to join the varsities in college. Rich because team. so the Lasso volleyball team, um, the UP basketball team, I was being recruited for that, the Ateneo basketball team as well. And I think because I had friends in the varsity team, which I admired so much, but I understood the kind of commitment it would take to be part of the UAAP teams. Mm -hmm. And I was taking pre-med at the time, like I said earlier, and I really wanted to fulfill that dream of being a doctor at the time. And I wanted to get college over with as fast as possible. And usually when you're in the varsity, your three years ends up being five or six years. Yeah. So that's why I, I did not do join the varsity anymore. That's amazing, Gravika. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, that, those are, that's a lot of sports. So now you, you, you swim, you box, and you also go to the gym. But do you watch any sports? Do you have any favorite sports that you like to watch? Whether <laughs> national I am a fan of the NBA, actually. <laughs> I, I, love, okay. I love watching NBA. And then my Lakers is the team that I follow now. Uh, do you have a favorite athlete? LeBron, of course, King James. Like I really admire him. That's the reason why I'm a fan of the Lakers now because I am a LeBron fan. So wherever he is, that's that's the team that I support. Okay, and so now for your Miss Universe journey here, um, yes. I, you have to be fit. Of course, it's one of the yes. training that you have to do. So, are you? What are you doing as for your fitness routine? So for my fitness routine, I actually I actually focus a lot on aerobics and flexibility just so we mm -hmm. can get the hips out more and control. I try to stay away from heavy lifting because that was my epiphany from last year also in my previous pageants. I would lift heavy to try mm -hmm. and sculpt my body, but I realized that the more I hif lift heavy, the stiffer my muscles become. Oh, yeah. So I try yeah. to stay away from that now. And I've been focusing more on aerobics and swimming and flexibility. So it's yeah, been fun. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, that, yeah, a lot of flexibility training para gumalaw yung hips, right? Yes, yeah. And then and on top of that, yeah. Yeah, so on top of that, I mentioned earlier that I am part of a action series. So I think that's been helping also because I have to do a lot of kicks and turns and flying yeah. jumps. Sure. <laughs> so it's been helping me control my body better, which I'm very grateful for. <laughs> so the first is a lot about body. Of course, you have to exercise and eating right. Is that something that you have to do or you just eat anything and it's okay because of your height and your activity? Well, I have always been conscious about what I eat. I don't really believe in crash diets. I think you should always have a diet that you can sustain for the rest of your life. So I just make really good conscious choices about my food. I try to stay away from fast food or processed foods. And thankfully, I've never really been a carb load eater. So I just try to eat more protein and vegetables. All right. What about energy? How do you get your energy? Oh my God. <laughs> So this year, I think, is like my busiest year ever, like ever. So I've been 
getting only an average of two to three hours of sleep every day. What? So now, bumubuno ako ng energy wherever I can, and it's really a mind game for me now because I can't afford to allow myself to believe that I'm tired or bibigay yung katawan ko. So it's really a mind game, and so of course I can give a hundred or two hundred percent of myself. It's mind over body na lang. <laughs> Because, because of your taping, there are long hours and then lots of activities for the Miss Universe. Yes, yes. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. I mean, uh, if anything, I am very passionate about both industries. I love acting and I am very passionate about Miss Universe Philippines as well. So if you really want something, then it's really up to me to make it happen for myself. I can't give myself excuses not to do something that I want to do. I really just have to give it my all and then I'm sure my future self will be thanking me. That's so inspiring, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I love that you're always on the go. And, uh, you know, this uh, Miss Universe pageant is, you know, there's so many elements to it. You have a lot of followers. What would you like to say to your fans, those who are supporting you? Because it takes a lot to be able to be, you know, to compete in this pageant. Maybe you have a message for them. Yes, of course. You know, my my supporters have been there for me since day one. If it wasn't for the people that really saw my potential, which are are you guys, my my supporters, I really wouldn't be standing here in front of you because I was a very, very shy person before. I didn't see my potential, but it was because of all of you that I did. So I thank you and I love you. And really part of my journey is really dedicated to all of you. So thank you so much. Super. I love your new looks, huh? Like your new oh, hair. Thank you. Long, short, chic, sometimes wavy. You love all the styling. Yes, <laughs> all thank you so much. <laughs> well, super. Thanks for this short and sweet chat, Michelle. But I'm going to be talking to you more in the coming days because there's, you know, there's still the Miss Universe coming up all the way till May 15th, yes. Asian night. So thank you again for guesting on Play It Right TV. And we wish you. All the best. Thank you so much, Miss Diane. It's always so nice seeing you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks, Michelle. Wow, Thank what you. a sporty beauty queen Michelle D is. Well, I didn't realize she got involved in all those sports. Grabe, no? Galing. Love the passion, determination. And, you know, it takes a lot of discipline, moving on the go to do all those things. So, Good luck, Michelle D. And please check out our sister company, PlateRight.com. They have super nice products, world-class items for sports, for fitness, different brands that you will love. They always have great promos, so please check them out, PlateRight.com. Thank you for joining us on PlateRight TV. We hope you enjoyed. Have a super-duper weekend. Stay active. God bless. Next time.